the investigations although the investigations begin from simple routine investigation to other tests but here we will study the investigation of choice of meningitis that is csf analysis we collect csf by doing lumbar puncture and then follow the report we get let's see the normal first number of cells are between 0 to 5 rather say no cells no wbcs proteins are between 20 to 40 mg per dl and glucose between 50 to 70 mg per dl and chlorine levels are 116 to 132 milliequivalents per liter and the fluid being clear and sterile the biochemical values other than protein are similar to the blood values but slight less let's move ahead and see the bacterial picture of the csf here we can see the number of cells to be increased these aren't bacterial cells that are too tiny to be counted but rather they are our own wbcs and in acute cases the neutrophils from 1000 to 10000 rise the most important thing to be noticed here is the relationship of proteins and wbcs these proteins aren't conventional blood proteins like albumin but rather they are wbc itself hence the number of wbcs increase so is the protein in the csf and of course every creature loves sweet so do the bacteria and hence glucose levels are decreased chloride level 2 decreases and the solution look turbid and the culture is positive now let's see the tuberculosis picture in tuberculosis we see cells to be more towards chronic inflammation side that is lymphocytes which we can all can relate as tb being a chronic disease proteins are as usually increased and the glucose is decreased now coming to the appearance a layer of pellicle appears which is also characteristically known as cobweb appearance now let's look the viral picture the viral picture looks more like normal csf hence we order pcr test for detection of viral genome particles now let's see the treatment the treatment includes steroid dexamethasone injection as single dose 0.15 mg iv given 15 to 30 minutes prior of antibiotic administration in order to prevent any complication as you know the massive injury was caused not only by the enemy but by the immune response hence it is important to suppress this response so as to prevent the brain tissue damage let's go ahead the empirical iv antibiotics for 10 to 14 days the drug of choice being third generation cephalosporin the patient is advised proper follow up for example we do audiometry before discharging as one of the complication of meningitis is snhl lots more coming up in this section stay tuned